I had a friend recently post on a listserv recently about attaching annotated pictures to his brief. Um, and I thought it was pretty interesting, uh, something I've considered myself on, on rare occasion, but uh, when the situation fits, it fits. Uh, the response quickly from the listserv was, well, how do you do that? So I thought I would do a video. Uh, so it's, it's really not all that tough right here if, if any of you use VLC. Um, VLC is a great problem, uh, program for doing this. Uh, if you click into VLC here, you open your video, you're somewhere in the, uh, in say the dash camera of your video, uh, you can just simply go up to video and take a snapshot. Take a snapshot takes a picture of what is on the screen. You see it flash there in the left hand corner and then slowly fade away. So it took a video uh, or a picture rather, a snapshot of what was uh, on the screen during your video and then it saves it. Okay, But the important part to note here is where it saves it because it can be confusing at first. If we pull up the preferences here uh, and you go to video uh, and you just simply have to select where you save it. Okay, so you go ahead and do that and of course you get this nice little video or I'm sorry picture of your video uh, saved to your desktop. Um, once you have that video, uh, it opens up quite nicely. Let's see if I can get it in, in frame here for you. It takes only the video. It doesn't take that, uh, that bar at the bottom. Uh, and you've got a picture you can work with. Now, uh, that's for VLC because I use it a lot to watch videos. However, there are other programs where you will often see... Let's see if I can get this up on the screen here. Um, you'll see proprietary players that police departments use. Uh, you get a lot of information. You get uh, GPS coordinates. You get speed of the cruiser. Um, you get all this information over here, whether he's got his lights on, brakes on, that sort of thing. So, uh, so we play our video, we stop it there, and we've got a nice screenshot. Well, how do we do that? Um, this player might have an option. Yeah, save snapshot. There you go. But let's say it's not an option. So, um, what are we going to do about it? Well, Windows has a nice tool that I may have done another video about called Snipping Tool. Uh, it's great for doing screenshots. It opens up on your screen. It kind of turns the whole thing white. And you select the area that you want to take a picture of. And once you take that snip, there you go. Now you've got a snip of your video. You can save this. You just save it to your desktop there. Um, there's nothing too compromising in my videos or, <laughs> or in my uh, uh, desktop there, but you just save it to your desktop, and there you've got there you go. You got a snip of exactly what you need. Now the nice part about this is is you can take one or you can say hit new and say all right. Well, I only want a snip of this area, and you can really narrow it down to what you actually need. Um, and, and from there, what we're gonna, what we're going to do, hopefully, is talk about annotating those uh, those snips that we just took. So we just took a video or a, a picture of a video, and now here's what we're going to do. We're not going to open it up in Microsoft Paint because uh, that's really kind of too basic for us. We want something easier. Uh, we're going to open it up in PowerPoint, and it's simple enough that we can take simply open it, come to a new slide here, and pop in our video. Uh, I can just drag it and get the little little add to slide uh, indicator there on your mouse and you drop it and there is your your screenshot that you took. Expand it out to the slide to make it a little bit easier to work with and now you've got all your draw, drawing tools that you need. Um, we can insert an arrow here uh, you can't really see much there, so kind of, kind of doing this one on the fly. Uh, we can adjust the weight. We can make it a, a more pronounced arrow. We can make it red because this is of absolute significant <laughs> nature here um, that we're pointing at this car. Um, just kind of making this up. No, uh, no reason why we're pointing at that car, but that's not the only thing you do. Uh, I mean, you can add circles, say, Okay, but this car over here, 
was actually uh, the car that you're looking for. Um, we select no fill. We'll make it yellow. Yellow, I think I did. There you go. Now you're circling a car. Okay. Now, what you do from here is up to you. You've got a lot of tools within PowerPoint to use. Um, let's see here. We can insert and we'll say a text box. And we'll drop a text box right here because it doesn't particularly play into our video. And we can write in the text box anything we want. Um, our client indicated by the arrow is innocent and the car in the circle is guilty. Um, don't know why that's of any real significance at this point, but the point is, is that you can annotate these videos and uh, we can say make this bigger and there you go now it's written right on there for you now you've got a lot of options uh, you can make a lot of shapes um, you can insert a lot of text boxes you can draw uh, whatever lines you need to on here you can draw on the video or I'm sorry your screenshot of the video as you wish and you can come up with uh, pretty good annotated slides to either insert into your brief or attach or use in a motion hearing or a trial as an exhibit or demonstrative evidence and uh, and get it admitted that way um, either either way whatever it takes to get it in front of your judge uh, once you have your annotated shot you can save the slide or you can use a snipping tool again uh, which I did very recently I just took a snip of uh, the slide as I, as I wanted it saved it saved it to my desktop and there you go I needed uh, the slide to insert so I copied it from the desktop saved it right there into my brief uh, and printed that out of course uh, in color for the court so it was an, a nice piece of uh, uh, of an illustration here but I don't want to miss I don't want to avoid one thing one thing I'll see if I can get up on the screen here um, let's see here just give me a second all right, and that other thing that I was going to show you, let's see if I can get it on the screen for you here, um, is the ability to, uh, you have this in PowerPoint already, okay? But maybe it's advantageous to add another image here. So we'll just minimize this for a quick second, and we'll pull up Google Earth. Now we have uh, a shot of Google Earth. So what we can do is we can take a snip of the intersection that we're talking about um, this isn't even the same intersection from the video but uh, we will we'll save it we'll make use of it and then uh, we'll close out of Google Earth where is our PowerPoint we'll bring up back up our PowerPoint and then to add another picture just to give this one some context we can just drag and drop again there you go there's your picture of the intersection and fit it say right into the corner I know this probably isn't the best image or the best corner <laughs> but there you go uh, you get a lot of information to one slide one image uh, whatever it is uh, that you that you need um, and it, it fits in seamlessly uh, we can even draw let's see here another arrow on top of this um, really just to make it entertaining um, and we will make that one green just for kicks alright so we can insert videos you can get a nicely annotated slide annotated screenshot uh, for use in motions in trials uh, whatever you are trying to uh, display uh, for persuasive purposes so there you go it's something that has helped me um, haven't used it too much but I thought I'd make it easier for other people to use uh, as well so there you go I hope that's useful to you uh, certainly has been useful to me on occasion and uh, I hope it helps you in your practice